what's happening everybody so i'm here in the fur shed <clears throat> doing a little work now if you watch that beaver bashing baited sets video part number two when i'm getting the four just got done skinning out these beaver okay now real quick i'm gonna show you what this stick is all about right here okay i actually hang the beaver by the nose right here on it and then where it free hangs down to is where I'm going to put it on the board. Now you can see those are numbered as well. Okay. But you got to, I'm going to give you the measurements. That way you guys can get your own piece of lath and you can do this. Now when you do it, subtract it by one. Because if you go to the actual, like, say it's down to four. And you stretch it on here to four, you're gonna have you're gonna have problems, okay? Because it's gonna be way too tight. Subtract by one. So if it's four, go three. And that's how I have my boards labeled. Obviously, one is the inner one, and it goes all the way up to the bigger one, four. Okay. I'm gonna get these measurements. Alrighty. Here it is, guys. So there's the nose. Okay, number one is two feet. Number two, 28 inches. Number three, 31 inches. Number four, three feet. Number five, 40 inches. Six, 43. Number seven, 46 inches. All right, let's get this flushing kicked off. So, in case you guys are wondering, now I do have bigger boards. They do go up to seven. All you have to do is buy three quarter inch plywood, four by eight sheet, cut in half, and then you can do two beavers on each of the half. So, one side do beaver, flip it over, nail on your next one. So, it's pretty sweet. Um, my stencils. If you're wondering how I actually got that pattern, you just you can buy a stencil from Northwest Trapper Supply, Cumberlands. They're out of here, uh, out of Minnesota, actually. So, pretty good company. I go through them. So, not sponsored by them. Just I like them. Okay, now let's kick this off here. No, so I got a Necker flushing knife. It's got a sharp side, dull side. Now you're gonna want a sharp flushy knife when you're doing beaver, okay? So, what we're gonna do here first, is I bring it up and I start right behind the ears with my sharp side. And I'll just start, like you guys, it takes a little while to get used to. It's probably one of the hardest things to actually learn but just start you know just slicing slicing that's all you're doing okay let's keep that hide tight and just just slicing no it's all about angle you know after you know you guys are gonna pop holes and after a while, you know, you just get used to it. That's all I'm doing. I'm just getting in here, start working it. Get that stuff starting to roll. Okay. Now, what I like doing is I like making one streak right on down.
Okay, now I'll do each leg. So when I put it on here, when you're towards the edge of it, that'd be the belly. That's all pushing like a raccoon. You're just gonna push. Front leg here. Just clamp her down. Now in here again, you're gonna have to slice. Use your sharp side. Another leg, front leg. Now you see, I already switched over to my doll. Cause right here, this is just right on the belly. There's a nipple we gotta be careful of. And this belly fat stuff just pushes right off. Actually pretty easy. I'm on my shirt. All right, now all the back legs, <clears throat> excuse me, the back legs. I'm just pushing. Come back in with my doll. It's all on the belly side. You just push it.
and I'm slicing. Maybe I can probably push a little bit. Now on to the other back leg. <laughs> I have to clean up the face a little bit. Forgot that. Not a big deal. up around the ear maybe a little bit oh. now what I do is I'll turn the beaver right down on the side and I'll just start working everything off this board So now here, you'll have to slice a little bit and then you can just push it all, the rest of it off with the belly fat. So you have to get in, start doing a little slicing. And you'll feel where it transitions.
Now here again, because <clears throat> we got this whole side, there's the back leg. We have to slice here. Use your sharp side. Okay, now we just rotated it, just like how we did that side, same thing on this side. Go sharp for a little bit, and then just push on your dull side. Now that we're here, this hole back by the tail, you see it's in between the two legs, back legs, it's all slicing. It's all gristle and pretty um, dense stuff. With the sharp side, I'm saying, slicing with the sharp side. Good to go. All cleaned up. 